So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I showcase to you guys something utterly broken an exploit which allows you to fire bubbles from your shield for it's just broke, it's broke guys, I don't know what to say it's just so broke, it's unbelievable, this is just craziness check this out, check it out man I mean this is brutal, this destroys bosses, this destroys everything this ain't going to be in the game for much longer, it's going to be 100% nerfed out of the game within the next patch, like honestly, I can't wait for that this is just another reason uh, not to play PvP, I mean PvP right now is not, very, not a very enjoyable experience but things like this and the amount of weapon swap videos I've seen as of right now I'd wait for playing to play it but this is just another exploit which revolves around weapon swapping which you can do this one I wouldn't say would be that efficient in PvP because people could just come behind you and take you out but either way guys if you want to use this for PvE I have you covered today I will explain all how's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leave a like if it helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so to fire unlimited amounts of bubbles out of your shield it requires three items firstly the facade shield it's actually a weapon upon you using it you shoot flames out of it what we're doing guys is we're using that weapon swap trick you've probably seen a couple of videos on this already which tricks the game into believing well i don't know what it's tricking the game into believing but it tricks the game into instead of shooting fire you shoot bubbles which is absolutely amazing to witness but bizarre at the same time so how does this work well actually the items you need so yes we need the facade shield this is a must we also need the envoy's longhorn another must and we also need a sword a straight sword this could work with other weapons i'm sure you guys would try that out down below but the broadsword for me is definitely the best they don't have to have an ash of war on it i was just testing this out and it does work with some ashes of war for me especially the square off but again you don't need the ash of war on it you can do this without that so what you gotta do so set up you need to have the shield in your right hand the right hand armament i'll go with slot two if i were you slot two or three because this we, we don't want to move we want to keep this here now in the left hand guys we need to have and start with the sword the broad sword simple as that so as you can see in my left hand i have the sword what in the right hand i have the shield what now guys we have to two hand the sword to do this on console you need to hold triangle or y and then press your left trigger there you go on pc i believe it could be hold e and press that left click but don't quote me on that if someone plays on pc and you're watching this please let the world know down below in that comment section so now we are two-handing the sword now what you gotta do guys is and i'll do this while i run you through it slowly you will have to do this quickly but i'll run you through exactly what i gotta do slowly so you gotta press your light attack your light attack which is on console is r1 right bumper simple then guys the mid right attack while that weapon is basically just above your head that swing is just above your head you need to press your ash of war button on console that is left trigger and you can see i've got the face off uh, ash of war on my weapon that's my ash of war button simple so mid swing press your ash of war button although you won't see it happen you won't see the animation because you're pressing it mid swing it's actually giving us a bit of a time frame to actually switch out the broadsword to the bubble weapon so again we we'll do this slowly first so mid swing press your actual wall button then you want to go into your menu guys come down to uh, the broadsword and switch it to the envoys a longhorn as soon as you switch it to this guys you need to press the menu button because you pop straight back out of it once you pop out of it guys you need to hold down the actual wall button the left trigger now the reason we have to press the menu button is because if you don't and you press press back you gotta put back out of three menus it takes too long we don't want to do that so let's try that again um i shall only through it again so two hand the sword swing it light attack mid mid light attack swing when the sword's just above your head or going over your head press your ash or war button simple then go into your menu come down to the broadsword 
and switch out to the Envoy's Longhorn and then press that menu button as fast as you can. As soon as you pop out, hold down that left trigger. It really is that simple. Again, it sounds a little confusing, but once you get this down, guys, you'll get it 100% of the time. I'm pretty certain on that. So I'm mid swing, press your actual war button. So bat, bat, bat. Actually, if you do it too fast, it won't work. And it actually, you don't have to be as fast as you may think either. I mean, I was testing this. I've been testing this for about the last two hours. Just try and get it down. You don't actually be have to be as fast as you may think. So like that, 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 and there you go. Simple. Simple as that. Now, I, don't, I, I still don't get it 100% of the time. But um, like I said, you practice for a bit. I mean, I'm an old guy, people. I'm an old guy. My reactions, my reflexes, my fingers ain't as young as they used to be. So I obviously ain't going to get this 100% of the time. It ain't something I'm going to use either. But hey, I cover guides, I cover glitches, I cover exploits. This is just one of them. This is one of many uh, that are out on the game right now. But it's one of the more fun ones in my opinion. So you know what? I thought I'd showcase it to you. But it is pretty simple. Now, let me just run you through it again. Because I know people are still be like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, DPJ. So, again, shield in your right hand. Sword in your left hand. Two hand. Actually, let me just have a bit of my mana potion. So, yeah, shield in your right hand. Ba -ba. Sword in your left hand. Ba -ba. Now you want to two hand the sword. Just like so. Hold triangle. Hold Y. Press your left trigger. Now, once you are here and in this stance, right bumper, R1. That's your light attack. Mid light attack, when that sword is just above your head, you need to press that Ash of War button. Simple. Don't hold it. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to hold anything. Just press it. Mid attack. Not straight away. Not at the end. Mid attack. Once you do that, go into your menu. Go down to, well, go into equipment. Go down to uh, the broadsword or the weapon you got here if you're going to try it with other weapons. And switch to the longhorn. As soon as you switch, press your menu button and you'll pop out. And you need to hold the Ash of War button. Left trigger. L2. Okay, so we'll try it again. I'll probably fail this time, but who cares? So bat, 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 bat. And see, that was pretty slow. That was pretty slow, and I did it. I don't know why. Let, I don't know why I just let go of it. But hey, you saw the bubbles come out. I'm an absolute spanner. Either way, guys, that's how you do it. Now, if you want to get the uh, the shield, if you don't have the shield, the shield comes from uh, this place right here. So come down here, guys. And you need to come to the Callum Ruins. So any grace plant around here, come up to here guys, and you'll see, as you'll see on the screen now, there is a, a stairwell you can go down. Upon you going down this stairwell, you'll see that there's actually a boss room here. The two of those pumpkin heads, take them out there. It's so easy to take out, especially if you're a higher level. Take these guys out and you'll get a chest um, at the end of the room. Simple as that, that gives you the shield. And the uh, Envoy's Longhorn is a little more difficult to get. You need to come up to this place right here. The Hallig Tree area. And to gain access to the Hallig Tree area, guys, you need to gain access to the hidden path to the Hallig Tree. To do this, you need the Hallig Tree Medallion. One half comes from Commander Nile up here. Kill him, you come up to the rooftop here. It's in a chest or is it on a chest or is it in a body? I'm not sure, but either way, you have to kill the boss. That's one half. The other half comes from an enemy back down here. Uh, within this area, I can't remember if it's up this way, if it's down that way, if it's over that way, I can't really remember. But there's a guy hiding in a basket. Go up to the basket, punch it with your fists or a torch. Don't use a weapon, you may kill him. Once you start speaking to him, clear out his dialogue. And he will give you the other half. You then, guys, obviously have to come up to this, the ground lift of road. But to even get here, guys, you have to clear out the capital. It's kind of long, but hey, it's probably your only choice. Then, guys, you come all the way up here. And you come to, well, you come to this place here first. There's a little little thing you have to do. Actually, you know what, guys? I'll put a, a video link it down below. A 13 hidden paths. It'll show you exactly how to get up here. And once you actually get up here, guys, you need to farm the envoys. And there's a quite a few. There's about three of them in this area. Um, but I'll put a guide to this weapon down below as well. If you want to get this weapon, the envoys longhorn. I'll put a full guide down below to exactly how you farm it. I believe in that video, I'll show you how to get up there anyway. So yes, let's check them out. Link down below. In regards to the uh, 
the broadsword. I think this is just a this drops. There's so many of these swords, guys. I drop all over the place. You must have one of them. In fact, I'm pretty sure you must have one of them. I can't even remember where I got this from. <laughs> I can't remember. Another thing I would suggest you doing as well, guys, if you do want to take advantage of this, is obviously put all your other weapons, all your other shields, your crossbows, your whips, and so much other things inside of your chest at any grace point. Because obviously, you don't want to be fighting through weapons to uh, find the one you want to equip to, if you understand what I mean. So as you can see, my vault is full of all my other weapons. I've just got on me what you, what you want to use to use this uh, exploit. And there you have it guys, it really is that simple. If you want to take advantage of this, be my guest. But guys, it's game breaking, it's, it's an exploit, it's going to be fixed. It's, it's craziness, it's craziness guys. But there we have it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.